welcome to my youtube channel america stitches today i'm going to illustrate and to make a gown a free dress like you've seen on the thumbnail with um gathers free gather dress so we're going to set to work this is my piece of tiger skin fabric um and then one yard of plain crepe or you can use chiffon to, to make this but not the lighter one maybe the thick chiffon but I'll, I'll show you just use crepe and you will love it so i'm going to set to work now please if you're yet to subscribe please do so then don't fail to share like and comment on the video thank you very much and follow us on instagram emiriki stitches on facebook emiriki stitches i'm going to start now by folding the fabric let me show you how to fold it you're going to fold it this time we're not making like um two we're just folding the front and the back together now i'm going to show you the measurement as well we're using for this the measurement is the full length which is 34 then the bust which is 34 shoulder 14 shape 30 um half length 14 don't forget this illustration the this thing the style that you're seeing of the dress that doesn't have shape so it's gonna be a free dress like i said get a free dress about two fears so i'm going to fold it so this is just one yard i'm folding the front and the back together with maybe my zipper allowance behind i might just decide not to put zipper but only use them um, what is it called button just make an opening behind for button instead of zipper so i'm taking the first one nine just nine inch um that's from the shoulder to where you have the nipple point that is where the fabric stop yeah my client won't stop at nine so i'm taking nine but if you wish your own to maybe your client own is like 10 depending on the bust um the show from shoulder to the bust and uh, nipple point yeah i'll just take nine because my client only is nine so but i'll just pick ten i'll pick ten with one inch allowance for the joining i'm taking ten instead of the usual nine it's supposed to be i'm using ten ten i'll mark out my ten this is my ten this first for the first black you've seen there is my ten 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 Okay, now let me check if it will accommodate. Okay, it does. We have um, the bust which is 34, it will accommodate up to 2 inches. So, my measurement is going to go this way. Then, this is what we have. Well, let me say we have the zipper allowance or where the button hole will stop, the opening of the button will stop. I can decide to put a short zipper, so it's your choice. Mm -hmm. So I'll now mark my measurement starts from the side with the this is for the zipper allowance. Well, here is for the I'm start with this way. I'm starting my measurement. Don't forget, I folded it into four that's the front and the back. This is where I will get it from. So I'll mark out the shoulder now, which is 14. Shoulder is 14, 7. I'll just add one inch. I love adding one inch. There's a reason because when I'm joining it out. After joining, I always loop the arm hole again, so I love making it this way. So now we'll take the arm hole seven half, not eight this time, and I'm slooping it, work it out, then mark out my what's it called? Um, the bust. Sorry, so bust is 34, 34 divided by four. We have um, eight half is the eight half, and we have two inches allowance and this is how it would be this just for the front for the upper side then what we we'll use to complete the next step of the tier is um, the what well, um, the tiger skin then after the tiger skin we we'll still use this black to complete the down part so i'm going to cut out this okay please you have to slope the shoulder by one inch. That's, don't always forget. 
if not that's how it will just lift you slip the shoulder by one inch is how it looks like and i'm going to cut it now opening it now so since the neck piece are not going to be the same i'll mark out for my front neck piece and um, the depth here will be three half and you can see there in the picture the neck depth the neck is not really that white so i'll take three half three half you can take your own three three you can take four four depending on how the person wants it but here i'll just take three half three half then around the neck you can use bias to pipe or you can bring out your facing okay now for the back neck piece you take the same three half don't fail to exempt this zipper allowance before taking your neckline measurements now three half for the up side neck width then the neck depth you use only one inch i'm going to round it to i'm going to cut it in Now, the tiger skin, sorry, I didn't tell you, you use half yard for it. But this one, what I have here is not up to, it was up to half yard, but it came in piece, like what you've seen. So I'm just going to make use of it like that. So I'm making use of this one first. It's only 14 inches. It's only 14 inches. So I don't have, since the fabric has gathers in it. Now what I'm going to do is just to place them equally, then divide it here. Just done that this is only 14 inches as you've seen so i'm going to run a gathers you run a gathers machine i don't have a machine closed now but you run a gathers on your own so that you can have it like this and after running your gathers all through you now join place it and join it here as you can see if you place it like this directly this one is bigger than this so you run a gathers so after running a gathers for those of us that have this thing the machine you can use thread and needle whatever but what it, but what we want is just run a gathers line is what you have then you now join it to this to this now we've had this first step and the second step now what we are going to do now is just to bring out the last part of this which is what the now as you can see this one was just half inch like i said but the fabric was by 60 so what we have here 28 for the front and 28 for the back and when bringing the next one you have to bring it more than this 28 so that it will be it will be very very long the gathers will be much more since we want the back the down part don't forget the fabric we were using here was one inch one yard sorry so i'm going to place it only thing is that we have to work on it saying that it will accommodate the length of what we want let me push it out first so that i can turn it and keep it like this uh -huh. the table is not accommodating uh -huh. so on checking if you see from here what we had here is 14 and what we had here was is 10 and the length of what we needed on joining it hmm? 
half inch will go here, then half inch will go here. It's nine that will be left here. Then, like, let me say the nine plus 14. This is what we have. We have already here. We have two in three. Three. Yeah. So let's check. Let's just say 22 and a half because half is going to go here and half for the shoulder. So what we're going to have is like 22 half. So what we'll, we use now to complete the length is what we're going to cut in this black fabric out. So that we can use it to complete whatever is left. And don't forget the black part that is left to complete will have to be longer than this so that we can have the effect, gather the effect more than what we've had here. This one was 28. So if we're taking 28 here, we have to take up to 30 or 30 something down there. So let me, let's see what our black, our black fabric. So here is only 29 in which it might come out the same thing with the other one. So what we're going to do is you fold the fabric. Use the longer side. Yes, it was only one yard. So we can now see that 34 minus the 23 will have um, 11. So what we want here is 11. You can decide to put, you put half inch. You put half inch. You know what I'm having here? I don't think it will take up to I want so I'm still going to place it like this to bring it out. What we have from here to here. Let's see here. We have up to 29. So we are going to use it because that's the only thing that it's available. But if you have your own is more than 29, like I said, to be on the safer side, you can use up to 34. It depends, but it will still come out the way we've seen there in the thumbnail. So here we'll add 11 and I have, let's just take 12. We're depending on the joining and everything. We're just taking 12 inches. I'm going to put it back here. I can use this for one side while well, I bring out another tool for another side so that I can gather it to bring out to really come out well. This is just for the front bodies, and I'm going to still put this to bring out another tool for the back for, for the back. Uh, the effect will the, this thing will come out well. the gathered effect to be more than what we've seen there we're still going to but if you just want your scanty you can use this like i said you can use 34 but i'm using this for only the front and the other one for the back i'll still place it again to bring up another one Okay, that's what we have. 
I have the 12 12 now. Now, we open it up. And we run the do the gathers. Maybe what we we'll use in this sense. It's not loose so that we can use our this thing to make it. I'll just use my hand to run the gathers. Yeah. Kind of. have the glass pitch which is this you've not shown it but you've seen the look already it's already coming out so that's how it will look you've seen it That's how to look this only for the front bodies. I'm going to and um, then the other part to place it and still bring out the back bodies. You have to run the gathers and join everything before you now um before you now join the shoulders. So this is the only fabric left. But in your own, please endeavor to use one and a half yard because if you want to make that sleeve that you've seen there. You see what is left. The fabric that is left will not accommodate the sleeve. But in this case, I'm going to use this part to bring out one. Then I might decide to join the other to bring out the second sleeve. So I'll just place it. The sleeve here, the length is um, sleeve length is ten. So I'll take up to since we're using the this thing tiger skin fabric that is left. To make a puff down behind i can take up to the 12 to 11 sorry take up to 11. so down here we have um, the round sleeve here is 10. so i'll take 12. Okay. Don't understand please go to i've made a youtube video i've made a video on this already and now you got your basic sleeve so please you can watch that so that you can have an idea but this is how the sleeve is gonna be right. so you now use this, this for the one side of the sleeve you place it on the fabric and bring out the second one you now use this because this is the only one like i said it was if you think the fabric came in a piece like about 20 something inches so 14 was used for the other part while the this one this is the only one left but i'll ask you to buy one year two for this if you want to make that kind of sleep thing so that whatever you bring out for the up um for that up for the bodies something will be left for you to use for the sleeve so yeah we have only up to seven inches okay it's up to seven so we'll make it straight and use the seven inches with the puff we run a gathers as well cut it well one will represent um one side of the sleeve the other two then the other will represent one to um, another you cut it and make it straight it's already the one we have is like okay
I'll now use one one sleeve. This is how it's gonna be. Well, the other for another sleeve. Open this leaf up and still run your gathered straight thread down here. Then to form the puff, you bend here, bend down here by half inch or oh, sorry one inch. So you pass your elastic thread down here. Your elastic, not elastic thread. Sorry, you pass your half inch elastic down here so that you can have. Uh, the other on my previous video, I showed you how elastic is. Half inch elastic, you use it to thread the, this thing. Then drag it to the your sleeve length, your round sleeve. Sorry, so that it will you, it will give you that puff you. So that's all we have for the video. Please don't fail to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.